Welcome back drone fans to another exciting episode of Jamlong Drones. Today it's all about the batteries of drones that we fly. Now batteries come in different sizes and shapes and if you take a look at this battery in my left hand this is the battery for the DJI Mini SE and certainly it would have a less charge than the battery in my right hand which is the DJI Mavic Air 2. Now not forgetting our little friend at the back here this is a 500 milliamp battery not as powerful as our two friends here but certainly a battery just the same we're going to be going through some do's and don'ts for those who have batteries to take care of and especially if they are lithium ion polymer batteries like these two batteries that I have in my hand here. Battery health is very important, especially when you're using your drone for commercial purposes or even for hobby. Now, these batteries have what is known as lithium polymer inside. And what that means is that these batteries are extremely powerful. And with this in mind, it means that how we care for these batteries has to be done in a very special way. For example, if we're gonna be storing these batteries, they have to be stored at between 50% to 65%. Now you'll hear varying percentages as you go from channel to channel, but anywhere a little bit above that halfway mark should be fine if you're storing this for a while. Now, quite similarly, if you're flying, you do not want to take these batteries down to 0% or even to 5% because this can permanently damage the cells inside. The cells are really the batteries that we're used to, the ones that we sometimes use in the remote. If you were to open one of these batteries, you'll see that there are about two cells inside and that they are all linked along with a smart circuitry on the inside as well, which would detect if there is a power surge and would stop the battery from taking charge or if the battery is getting hot there are circuitry or there is circuitry on board to detect that and to prevent it from charging so this battery is um, what you'd call a smart battery so they're, they're not just power sources guys these batteries are smart batteries so the way in which you store them has to be done in a special way you cannot store them in hot places and if you have just finished flying you do not want to charge them right away while they're hot. Cells do not do well under hot conditions, so you want to wait until that battery is nice and cool before you try to continue charging. Also important is updating the firmware for these drones. When you do a firmware update, you do not just update the firmware on the drone itself, but you also update the software for the battery. Now it's very important that we update um, as many times as needed and the reason for this is because when this battery is inside this drone the battery is communicating with the drone and so there is a lot of communication happening and so you know you have to make sure that the batteries have been updated with the firmware so that you know you don't have problems when you're flying. Now a typical rule of thumb that I follow is if there, there's a new update, I don't just normally go ahead and update. I like to check in forums and read what people's experiences are before I update my drone. And I'd encourage you to do the same thing too. Because sometimes after an update, you tend to have a bit more problems than you started out with. And if you can avoid that, why not? Another thing that I like about DJI drones is that you can always go in the app to see the health of your battery. And you can also see tons more information like how many times it's been charged and also the voltage at which the cells are outputting. As batteries come in different designs, it means therefore that we're going to have different ways to charge them. So starting with the DJI Mini SC battery, there's a very easy way to charge this battery. You can charge it by putting it inside the drone. You want to make sure that you're very gentle with these pins. One of the common mistakes that beginner flyers make is that they're very aggressive with this section and the pins break and before you know it you do not have full connection and or full contact rather and there are problems with power. So we can charge it this way. We put the batteries in and then we can use a USB-C cable to insert in the back here like that. And then we'd stick the other end in an adapter in a power source. That's one way we can charge it. Another way we can charge it. This is my favorite way. I'll just be gentle to get that battery out. We can use this attachment right here. 
and this comes with the mini 2 charging hub so if you have not seen a video on my channel guys you need to check it out all about that hub very very nifty accessory to have now if you look at the dji mini se battery you realize that the terminals are at the top here so in order to get this aligned i'll just take a look a little closer look at this you can see the pins here so these copper pins are what make contact with the inside of our battery here so i want to from a side view let you guys see what's going on here so i'm just turning it to the side and I'm sliding this copper in, this copper section in, otherwise known as the terminals. And this end is what we would attach to our Mini 2 charging hub. And there it is, guys. So I have four ports here, and it comes with four of these guys. And once you plug it in, this should change to red because um, the battery is low on charge and there it is just changed to red so the battery indicator changes to two colors either green or red when it's green i know it's fully charged so that's one way of charging the or two ways rather of charging the mini se battery now onto our battery of the saima x5sw this battery is much lower in charge and a bit simplistic in design and this battery is charged using this end now just like the mini se there are copper ends here that will make connections or contact with the components inside here so if i am to slide this in like that and then stick this end in a laptop then i'd be able to charge this battery like that so there are many different ways guys and finally we have the air 2 battery and the terminals are at the bottom here and to charge we have the charger that comes with it again we see these copper pins be very delicate when we're putting this in so I'd normally put it from this way let me just show you from this angle there we go and it's nice and snug and that's not going anywhere and then this end is what I would plug into the wall and our battery would be charging. All right, so quite a few ways to charge our batteries, guys. Here we have the charging hub for the Mavic Gear 2. And if we take a closer look at the charging hub, we realize that this thing is made of plastic. And just looking at it, on the underside, we have two rubber-like patches, which will more or less keep it away from abrasive surfaces so those two rubber patches just keep it elevated now as for the top section we have three areas that we can put our batteries in and if you look closely you see that these areas have the copper terminal points that we're so used to by now seeing in this video and just like before we want to match the batteries to these receiving ends and we want to be careful while we put that down as for the power source it will come from the adapter which we used earlier to charge that signal battery so this thing can double as a connector point for our charging hub and you see that green light coming up as we plug it in so if i plug it out it goes and if i plug it in that green check light comes back now to get the batteries on what we want to do we want to make sure that the cutout section is according to the pattern here so i'm just turning the battery down and i'm pressing it firmly and carefully and that's one in let's see battery number two we're just gonna line it up first and then we apply a little pressure and battery two is in now we go to battery three we're just turning it around just to make sure that it is okay and guys while you're getting these batteries in you also want to inspect the batteries because sometimes they have foreign particles or maybe bits and pieces of stuff hanging around it gets lodged in there and then it becomes a problem when it's time to charge so you want to keep an eye out for anything that looks off in terms of your battery terminals so notice that the battery is lighting up as it's charging and what that means is that that battery that's charging now has the highest charge of the three batteries we're looking at so that's why it's getting right, charged what matters first. is when we charge them under what conditions we charge them and for how long we charge them another nifty feature that we need to know about is learning to read the indicator for our battery that is learning how to read how much power is currently in the battery now 
there are different ways in which we can do this but let's take a look at these three different types of batteries this battery has to be inserted in the drone before you know the charge quite similarly this battery as well but with the Mavic Air 2 battery the display is on this button right here so if I'm to press this once then you'll see that there are three lights popping up and right away I know that this should have anywhere between mm, say 60 to 75 percent charge since each of these dots are about 25 percent all right so in order for me to know the charge with this battery for example for the Mini SE I would have to stick the battery in and again I want to make sure that the terminal end is up so I'm just gonna let that gently slide in close the hatch and if I am to press this button once then you see the charge displayed so different ways in which we can tell the charge guys now if you are to open the app you will also see it displaying uh, on the telemetry right and uh, not only that but you also get to see how much flight time you have left the time you have until the battery comes down to complete discharge that is when it goes to force landing and guys you don't want to be in that position having the drone far away and not paying attention to those battery timings please as much as possible as you're flying keep your eyes on those numbers they're very important another important thing to note is that sometimes as you're traveling with these batteries in particular there can be dirt or small foreign particles that get wedged inside these areas for the terminals now it's important to note that if you have something wedged in here it's going to prevent the ability of electricity or it's going to prevent electric flow or current from passing through these terminal points so you don't want to have anything obstructing it but if you do so let's say that if we end up seeing you know something small inside one of these uh, openings what we can do is use a small brush with soft bristles like this and what you do is that you gently brush between these areas to get rid of whatever material is inside once you're satisfied that it's clean then you can go ahead and install and try to fly now when you're traveling with your batteries it's very important that you have somewhere to store them a battery bag that is fire retardant is a good way to store your batteries another rookie mistake is how you put the batteries in your drone I realize that there are some pilots that when they're putting their battery in the Mini SE, for example, they'll turn the drone upside down and they'll just freely drop the, allow the battery to, you know, fall and lock in place by itself. This is not a good idea, guys, because if you do that, you can damage these pins. And again, you do not want to damage them. So you want to turn it horizontal and slide it in using your own force and you close the hatch. Quite similarly, if you're talking about a Mavic Air 2, the principle is still the same. So you grab this battery here, and you want to make sure that it's all lined up, and you press. And all these lines should be flushed. You can look from the side here to see if there is any, you know, unusual protrusions. But once it sits comfortably, and you've done your check, that means the battery is firmly in place. So you want to make sure that it is firmly in place guys before you launch and the way in which you put your battery in should be the right way as well. If you own a Mini SC battery, it is quite normal for it to expand just a little bit as it's discharging. So if you see your battery slightly swollen while you're using it, that's quite normal. However, if it retains the shape even after it's cooled down, then your batteries may be going. And at that point, it's time to change them. If there is anything else that you want to learn about these batteries, feel free to comment down below. Is Jamdong Drones over and out?